Hey everybody, welcome back to I2I Live. It's Disney Trivia Night. Tonight's theme is... You nope. Gonna, you're not going to try it all. Uh, you said it's something about Animal Kingdom? No. Well, in a way. Disney Plus? Mm, well, I guess... Animals? You're like really bouncing around it hardcore right now. Like, that's, that's the crazy thing about this is that you're really like bouncing around it so much. No idea what I, what I said it was no. tonight. Tonight is a throwback in Walt Disney history to Walt Disney's True Life Adventures. That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. So Never since, even heard of that. So this is what you need to know. Really good. It's a documentary series that Walt Disney came up with a long time ago, and then I can't say much more because I might give things away at this point. Isn't that normally my role, but because I know literally nothing about it, <laughs> I think we're all safe here. So welcome if this is your first time here. If you are a returner, welcome back. We really appreciate you stopping by. This is our Disney Variety Channel where we're doing anything and everything Disney. Tonight is one of our favorite nights because we get together with you, the viewers, and just hang out, have a good time, play a little bit of trivia. And we just uh, love seeing all your, well, I guess I was about to say smiling faces. I guess you're virtually smiling. Or maybe. not. I don't know. Maybe they're frowning if they don't get the questions right or That's get the me. points. That's what you are most of the time because you don't get most of the, the uh, questions right tonight. Speaking of which, before we, hey, before we even forget, how many do you think you'll get tonight? Every, everybody place your bets right now. How many does Jessica get tonight? One for you? That's it? One. Out of all 20 questions that we're going to play, that's One. it. One. That's kind of sad tonight. Uh, by the way, we're doing something a little different. I, that's a little loud, actually. We've got some um, music playing in the background. I don't, I don't know if you guys can hear it or not, uh, but we tried it before. We're trying it again, different way. If you like it, let us know. If you don't, uh, we can keep trying things. You mind if we turn it down just a smidge? No, you're just gonna have to work through it. At this it's point. just really disco-y. Let's just get you pumped up for everything. If you, I don't know if they can hear or not. Let's say hello to everybody who's here. Pamela, Dam uh, <laughs> Daniel, Captain Akron, Caitlin Granby. Nice to see you again. Welcome back. Avery is in the house, uh, and it looks like most of the people that have popped in. I'm sure we've got some lurkers there in the background with 11 already watching. 12. Make that 12. We really appreciate y'all popping in. If you can, please do make sure that you smash that like button. It does help the stream out, obviously, if it deserves it. If it doesn't, I guess no like is, is, is warranted. But we hope that you are enjoying our Disney trivia night tonight. We want to make sure that we continue to grow our little family within the Disney uh, family. By the way, shout out to Peak McDiervid, who uh, let us be on his channel last night. And we got interviewed by him telling our disney youtube story so if you haven't checked that out you need to go check it out did you have a good time last night doing that it was fun it yeah. was very different it was because we got to see like a just a you know it's to see things through someone else's eyes and ask questions or he that's, asked questions that's funny it. since it's eye to eye through our eyes well that's you know through somebody that's, else's eyes i try to to tie it in there as best as i can uh pamela's asking what did you and jessica think of my suggestion you asked about on patreon jessica doesn't know about it because that was me doing that uh, i was asking for a certain thing from our patreon people that they only they have a say on right now so don't reveal that if you haven't um but if you got my early response pamela if you've done another one we haven't checked it yet so you'll just have to wait a little bit longer but we'll uh we'll see what you did put out there and uh we'll check it out uh, what's the noise in the background? Avery, so that is the background music we're trying. Yeah, it, you already answered that. He asked that question a long oh, time ago. Oh, he did. Ago. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm going through the, the list here. Let's see. Captain Akron says you're going to get seven tonight. Y'all are idiots. <laughs> Two, three. Wow. Uh, Pamela says she likes the background music. I'm going to guess six, Avery says. Okay. It's just a little off-putting with the music, but it's nice. So if y'all don't like it, we can t turn it down just a little bit. We can turn it down. Turn it down just a little bit. There you go. You I think even, that's good. You may not even be able to hear it at that point, but we figured it was better than nothing. Just trying new things all the time. Amanda Mayling, thank you for being here. We appreciate you stopping by and having uh, meeting us for the first time. I don't think we've seen you before, uh, but we're here every single Thursday night playing some Disney trivia. Jessica's trying to play trivia. She's not, not doing, doing well. Not doing well. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> all right, we're about five minutes into the stream here. Usually that means everybody that normally is ready to go for Trivia Night is here already, whether they're in the chat or lurking in the background. Um, so what we'll do now is go through the pregame announcements, uh, the rules, and then we'll the get winners, things started. Yes, the the things. Win the, all the things that Kyle loves to do throughout every Trivia Night. So here we go. Uh, as always, we want to give you a reminder that we will talk about more at the end. Ways that you can help support our channel. Just a quick preview at that if you're interested in any of that. 
We also have a Facebook group that if you're not a part of, we'd love for you to be a part of. More on that coming up at the end. But now let's talk about them rules for Disney Trivia Night. Uh, how it's played, 20 individual questions. The first 10 questions equals the pre-announced theme. The second 10 questions are the random Disney trivia. That means it's anything and everything Disney. The first three correct answers score the points. There's a time limit uh, that we will use if we feel like it is necessary. Here's a couple of tips to help you on your Disney trivia night experience because it can get a little bit frustrating, confusing sometimes when you're dealing with the internets and the interwebs. So I encourage you to uh, keep these things in mind when you are playing tonight. Um, so now let us go through our top 10 and 20 leaderboard here. And if I can get it to come up, there we go. Uh, right at the top, securing his place at number one last week with the win, Avery the Cuban American. And eight is nipping at his heels, followed by Pamela, Captain Akron, Allie Rose, Daniel, Alex, JM, Dizzy's Golden Boy, Benjamin Reynolds. You've got a lot of competition, people ready to take your spot, Avery. So I hope you're ready to play tonight. Dean from the Live Plays, what's going on, my friend? Thanks for stopping in. We really appreciate you being here. Here is mm. what's what's what 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 hold on what's what's going on? Daniel's throwing out some facts right there. What's he throwing out? This facts. Read his comment. Well, hold on. Can I get through the leaderboard oh, real hey. quick? D Hazel, Shelby Austin, the Orlando guy, Andy, uh, Mark, and MS are all on the board as well. If you want to be part of it, we're going to tell you how you can do that right now. The way you do that is you can get three points toward that leaderboard each and every trivia night. One for participating, I mean you have to answer a question. One for getting at least one correct answer on the night, and then one for being the game winner. And we keep track of these over like four months, and then we'll post the top ten or so after each game. Okay, you wanted me to go back and see the shade that someone's throwing out here? If only it were possible to have a Friends-themed night, Jessica would own the night. She would. I would freaking dominate. We have... Um, what is it? Friends trivia. Friend, but what is it? Is it Trivial Pursuit? Is that what it is? Or? No. Um, seen it. Yeah. Is it? Friends seen it. Yeah. And every time we play. Nobody wants to play with she me. She kills it. <laughs> she absolutely kills it. Yeah. Two Real Geeks is in the house. Good to see you guys again. Thank you all so much for popping in. It's always great when we get to see you all here. Uh, so, yeah. I think we're ready to play. I'm Are ready you, to lose. You're going to get one question right. That's your goal tonight? I think that's a good goal. <laughs> Set the bar low. I think that I think in the random trivia questions, there's going to be at least one that you can get. I at hope. Least. I hope. All right, we're okay. going to get started here with question number one. How many True Life Adventures films were produced? I need to bring my reference sheet back up just in case. How many True Life Adventures films were produced? Jessica's way off. If you're wondering. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So the answer is not four. Jessica's giving out hints now. I'm just here to help the people. Here to help the people out. So this is at least an easy guessing one. So if you don't know the answer, just start throwing out some numbers. The live plays or um, said, Dean, or Dean, the, Dean the, yeah. said that his goal is one as well. Well, hey, you got to have a goal somewhere. And uh, I think that, you know, there we've you all go. got goals in life, right. whether our goal is to lay on the couch right, 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 right. or to become a firefighter. We got the goal. All right. Here come the answers. And I think I see a certain answer that people are confused with because they didn't read the ne the actual wording. Got to be careful. But I have seen three of the correct answer. It is 14, one, four, 14 total uh, true life adventure films. The first three to get that were Avery. Back it up, back it up. Uh, Allie Rose and Captain Akron. And Allie Rose has got a little pumpkin on her little avatar there. Well, That's remember? Because awesome. it's now Allie, Allie Rose, Rose from, from the, the dead. dead. That's true. That's brilliant. It's still quite hilarious, actually. Yeah. yeah. Also, Daniel with his normal 14 million. I mean, he has to get in at least once a game. And at least the beginning numbers were correct. <laughs> More correct than my number. All right, we'll move on to question number two tonight. What type of animals did True Life Adventures supposedly misrepresent as committing suicide. What the? Yep. What type of animals did True Life Adventures supposedly misrepresent as committing suicide? And just for those of you who don't know, no, but that's not a bad guess, actually. Like, in terms of, like, the group of animals that you well, guess. Well, you know why I thought that animal? Why? Is because they have delineated roles. Delineated roles? What is this? Like the main, the mama meerkat or the daddy meerkat or somebody is like 
the lookout and then somebody else has to be the lookout and then another has to be the lookout and i thought maybe if they didn't look out like they were supposed to look out they're like Ooh. no not quite the correct answer is lemmings lemmings they're little I rodents the word you're looking for is lemur no lemmings they're like lemons no lemmings that those are these are like little baby rodents that so i didn't even know this animal existed so <laughs> the i need a mulligan on this one the first three to get that were eight ally rose and avery now here's the funny thing about that is like i i think there's this big controversy out there whether this is actually true or not whether they misrepresent or where lem lemmings actually do this I am a zookeeper, but I do not have my skill set in mammals. You're a terrible zookeeper if you didn't even tell me what a lemming is. Like, literally Jessica, never I, seen this word before in my I life. I tell you, like, animal things every day, and you're like, what? She didn't even know what a mammal was the other day. Yes, I did. What are you talking about? You said about? mammals, they have, like, scales and things. No, nope, yeah, I've never did. said that. Don't make me sound she's, like an idiot. She's lying. Okay, right? you know what? When Kyle has a headache, he doesn't take any medicine for it. <laughs> and then he cries. <laughs> what? Where is mean. this coming from? <laughs> There's so much spite in this room tonight. Wow. All right. Question. What are we on? Three? Three. I do know what a mammal is. What is the name of the first True Life Adventures film? Fun fact, they claim it was the Arctic Ocean, but it turns out it was the river in the Calgary area. Oh, that's, he's talking about the lemming thing. Yeah. Pamela says she doesn't know either. What is the name of the first True Life Adventures film? Is mine right? No, but it's not the worst name you could give. Uh, lemmings, yeah, they're, they're a weird little thing. Uh, you need to take her to work with you. <laughs> but yes. I've been to work with Kyle, and I yeah. know all those animals. Those are like cassowaries and ground bill hornbill something. Out for the cassowary, you just made me cry a little bit. What's on the that inside. ground beef? Ground beef hornbill? What's that thing called? Y'all, she just said ground beef hornbill. <laughs> what is that thing called? All right. Anyway, the correct answer was Seal Island. Okay. The first three to get that were Avery, Captain Akron, and Allie Rose. What did, did you just say? Ground beef hornbill. What is the word? What's it called? Ground hornbill. Oh, that's it. Yes, ground beef hornbill. <laughs> what just happened? I know normal animals like giraffes and lions and tigers and bears. Oh, oh my. my goodness! What what did you have tonight for dinner? I don't know. The same thing you had for dinner. Well, I'm starting Casserole. to get a little bit concerned at this point. Question four. What was True Life Adventures renamed as in 2000 for a relaunch? It's the music. That's what's throwing me off. I can't think. Well, I'm just testing it out tonight so you can deal with it. What was True Life Adventures renamed as in 2000 for a relaunch? Maybe you're going to try to guess it? What am I supposed to guess? Just something. Lemming's Life. Sure. Write it down. <laughs> Lemming's Life. Where's the beef? Yes, Avery. That's. I mean, that's kind of what I was thinking of when she said that. So we are eating the animals you work with now. Yeah, according to Jessica, we are. I I do not endorse that message though. Wait, what are we eating? The ground beef hornbill thing. Oh. Mm. All right, the answers are rolling in. A lot of people giving a certain answer. Obviously it's wrong. not. Obviously not right. <laughs> I don't know what the right answer is, but Kyle didn't say. I what was it renamed to in two thousand for a relaunch? What was it renamed to? A lot of people are thinking, you know, in a not so bad answer direction, but it's wrong. I think we're going to have to put a time limit on Maybe this OK one. Disney songs in the background instead. Uh, the only difference with that is, Daniel, I cannot do that because YouTube will knock us for that. That's, these are actually YouTube approved songs that they allow us to use. So that's the only reason why they're here. Just to, just to test out. If you don't like it, you can let us know. Especially you got access to us that not a lot of people do So you on Patreon. So you can definitely tell us what you do and don't like. Um, wasn't it announced in 2008? Uh, potential. I may have that wrong. I thought it was 2000. But um, I, I'm pretty sure what I'm looking for. Alright, we're going to put a time limit on this if nobody else gets this. It may be like a botched question at this point. So like another like 10 seconds. If nobody gets it, we will move on. Um, then I don't have any idea. <laughs> a lot of you that are doing the Googles right now, I'm surprised it hasn't come up uh, quite yet in this. All right. Five, four, three, two, one. 
and at this point we're stopping it the new name in the relaunch in 2000 was the new true life adventures Oh, Literally, that's it's, dumb. hey, I don't don't knock the person who re, uh, the person who said the question, knock the people who renamed it that. It was the new True Life Adventures. They were trying to restart it, and there it goes. I see some people have gotten it after the fact, but we cut the time limit off on that one. Nobody got it, but it was the new True Life Adventures. Um, before we move on, you need to read the comment by Two Real Geeks. Oh, what do you say? Hi. Jessica, you are so like Jessica on my end. I think it's something in the Georgia. It's, hey, look, it's not. It has nothing to do with the Georgia air. I think it's just a Jessica thing. It's just weird. <laughs> and now I'm not gonna. You say, hate us because we. You hate us. I hate us. You almost started that yep, one through. I just started <laughs> through Question it. five. Or, yeah. Question five. Which Walt Disney World boat ride has a portion likely inspired by the Vanishing Prairie film? That's one of the new life or the the uh, True Life Adventure films. No, but that's not a bad guess. Like, but what Walt Disney World boat ride has a portion likely inspired by the Vanishing Prairie film? Okay. Where, where in Jessica wrote Jungle Cruise? Where in the Jungle Cruise do you see a prairie? You might see a savanna. I didn't say it was a prairie. I said it was inspired by the prairie. Inspired means like it's got to have something related to it. It is. Hashtag a Jessica thing. Two real geeks gets my bonus point tonight. That's well played, sir. Okay, well what about played. this one? Uh. No. <laughs> Not quite. That's a prairie? So you guys are thinking like a right answer, but we're, we're, we're thinking of The Vanishing Prairie. Not If you got to know the film, The Vanishing Prairie. Man, I'm confusing everybody tonight. Yeah, none of us understand your questions. These are Goodness. dumb. Goodness. Oh, somebody has gotten it, and somebody is my best friend. All right, there it is. We got three correct answers. Living with the land is the correct answer. I hate that ride. I love that ride. God, I always take it. Captain Akron, Avery, and Eight. I think they even reference it. They in the, definitely do. In the now ride. that you say that. From Walt Disney's Vanishing Freaking. Vanishing Prairie. So even your voice when you say it, like that Walt, is the like from Walt Disney's Vanishing Prairie. That would put an insomnia to sleep. I love that narrator's voice. Anyway, yeah. hey, quick poll of the room. Yes or no, do you like living with the land? <laughs> right here, top five Disney attraction for me. I know I'm a nerd. I know it's stupid to most of y'all, but I love living with the land. Hate it. I hate love it. Hate riding hate through it. the little biodomes with all the plants and everything. Hate like it. it's just. It's just <clears> right <throat> about the time you get really good and asleep. And then they take you outside. And look you look at Avery. He's quoting the whole ride here. Together we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. Is that pretty good? That was great. <laughs> I'm falling asleep. I'm sure many other people are. All right. Uh, we'll move on right here. You're all a bunch of dweebs. <laughs> Jessica. Oh, Thank look, you, Daniel. <laughs> Thank you, my person. Question six. In what year was a compilation of true life adventures produced for theaters? In what year was a compilation of true life adventures produced for theaters? No clue. Kyle? Yeah. They've got a POV of Living with the Land. Yeah, I think we, ha we at least have it in a vlog. I don't think it's like we so, titled it as a POV. Now, like it's, so you can go watch that. You yeah. will love that. I You know what? Me. If I can't fall asleep tonight, I will definitely turn it on. Eight is the man who says Living with the Land rocks. If I had already given away my bonus point, I would give it to you, sir. Because dweebs. Living with the Land All of y'all are is dweebs. Best. Is my answer right? No, nobody, nobody actually... There's been a lot of wrong answers so Great. far. Why do you keep doing these where there's a number? Like, none of us ever get it right. There we go. Three people got it right. 1975 is the correct answer. Allie Rose, eight. And Daniel, which you know what that means. Oh, no. The squad. Well, I just gave the point to Avery instead of Daniel, so. Did you, like, get, did you correct that problem? Unintentionally did that. Avery, I'm sorry. I have to, like, keep it fair here, buddy. You did just win the you last one. You distracted me with your, the squad. The squad. Can they even hear you? I don't you know. Put your hands over your it face. It sounds good right here. It may not sound good over there. It's kind of like and the background. And with this weird disco music. It's kind of like the background music. Maybe they hate both of those things. We'll never know. Question seven? Is that what we're on? 
Daniel said he's getting drowsy just thinking about the ride. Thank you. What was the feature animal for the True Life Adventures film Jungle Cat? Right up your alley. Alley cat. <laughs> what? Bless your heart. What was the feature animal for the True Life Adventures film Jungle Cat? Hmm. I mean, obviously, you know, kind of the route. To like, go. obviously, it's not a meager cat because that's not an actual cat. Do something about animals is a shock. I know a lot of things about animals. Just because I, I don't know don't everything. Know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, is it too late to change the rules and give out an extra bonus point? <laughs> we right? always amend the rules, but probably not. That's not a bad guess, though. Not a bad guess, though. Uh, let's see. A lot of in the vein of right answers. There we go. Three correct answers. Jaguar is the correct answer. And the first three to get it were Avery. Way down here. Daniel and Captain Akron. Good job. A jaguar was the main central. Most of the films, they had like their centralized character and then some like ancillary stories they told. But mainly it was about the jaguar, the jungle cat. Question eight. Which True Life Adventures film showcased insects the most of all the films? I wrote that in there because I'm sure their insects were showcased in other ones, so I wanted to make sure you understood this is mostly about insects. Which True Life Adventures film showcased insects the most of all the films? Look at Avery being smart. He said it took place in South America, so it certainly wouldn't be a tiger. That's my man right there. He knows. You have to stuff. know where it takes place, though. I didn't even know it existed. But, you know, just saying. The fact that he understood that tigers yeah. are not in South America, that makes That's... my heart happy. Yeah, he knows more about animals than I do. Yeah, she did pull out the bless your heart thing. That that means she means business. She means real business on that one. Oh. All right, answers are rolling in, and there we go, right off the bat. Secrets of life. First three to get it: Allie Rose, Avery, and eight. Not the squad, but close. <laughs> but close. Okay. All right. Question, question nine. nine. How many Academy Awards did True Life Adventures win? Is that right? Do you, do you think I would ask that question if it was zero? I thought it was a trick question. Well, I guess it's possible. i got to remind myself of this one, though. I see the answer. How many Academy Awards did True Life Adventures win? You're right. There it is. I feel like you would do trick questions like this. I have done it one or two before. Yeah. So I see? mean, technically, the whole new life, True Life Adventures thing was kind of a trick question because it barely is a rename it's literally just add a word to it uh and i knew i knew that one was going to throw a lot of people off the direction it went and i'm very happy about that <laughs> i'm devious all right very devious uh there right off the bat we have it eight and ironically enough eight gets it along with avery and pamela eight academy awards won by the true life adventure series there you walt go. disney all right this is your final themed question Hallelujah. of the night Jessica hasn't gotten a single one wow. yet. Wow! And you know what? Kyle sleeps weird. I don't know. Question 10. What Disney label was established today to essentially replace True Life Adventures? Today, meaning like in the modern era. Oh. What Disney label was established today to essentially replace True Life Adventures? When you say Disney label, what do you mean by that? I can't reveal that because I, if I asked it another way, it would be way too obvious. It's already no. obvious enough. So I'm going to go with this? Wait, no, you've already scratched it out. No, because so you, you always not, tell me to answer after but I... You are, but that was your answer. You scratched no, it out. No, because not, you I'm always tell me it. to... I'm not counting So it. I'm obviously right. I feel like right. she's going to hit me. I feel like she's going to hit me. You always tell me that I don't need to scratch it out and I need to answer. So you know what? You are rude. Leia's watching with you. She gives, she's giving you paw. She's probably like... <laughs> Hush. There we go. The correct answer is Disney Nature. So a lot of you earlier were thinking the right answer for a different question. Avery, Captain Akron, and Daniel get it first. Good job. Disney Nature. Very good. All right. That's all the themed questions. Hallelujah. Everything after this point is completely randomized. So good luck. You never know what crosses my brain on this one. So Jessica, question 11. What Walt Disney World transportation service has been discontinued? Oh, look at you. You make me so proud sometimes. 
What Walt Disney World Transportation Service has been discontinued? After they answer, I'll tell you something funny. Do you have funny stories? In my head. <laughs> and there's still hope. Well, she, so Jessica's counting that question 10 for herself. I'm not counting it. But, I know I'm But right. she got this one right, so she already has her quota tonight of what she needed to get. So, since the answers have rolled in, right before you said the 10 random questions, in my mind, I thought, let's hope there's some about Minnie Mouse. And sure enough, the, the correct first answer one. is minivans. Eight, Allie Rose and Captain Akron got it first. The minivans are gone. I'm actually kind of disappointed about this, to be honest with you, because I really wanted to give it a try. But it's really expensive. Though. Two Real Geeks said they're ridiculously overpriced. It made yes. no sense. The, the pricing Why model, would you pay for that? I think the pricing model was just too much for it. And then yeah. obviously with this going on, it's just an extra expenditure the company doesn't need. So yeah. it makes complete sense. I'm just sad we didn't get to try it once because I really wanted to. It's a glorified Uber. I just, don't need to try that. Just to say, you, I like to try new things at That's Disney. dumb. Outside of gross things That's like dumb. snails and mushrooms and all that kind of stuff. Like gross stuff no but like new experiences like riding this going on this tour all that kind of stuff i like to do don't roll your eyes at me question 12 nope go ahead and say this <laughs> what is bonnie lou kern most known for in the disney company bonnie spelled like that i mean how would you how would you With say an e. that? B B Bonnie? That's it. What is Bonnie? what is what is Bonnie Lou Kern? <laughs> it's a lady, so I would imagine it's Bonnie. Well, how would I know? What is Bonnie Lou Kern most known for in the Disney Company? Also, Lou is a very what's the word? Like uh, it can go either for a male or but that's female. A, but when you, you you see like something Lou, like when it's part of that name. But also, if it's an older person, they have different names. Are you than being we have. are you being ageist right now? No, I'm saying they have different names. I don't let's know who see. this person is, but let me Let's go ahead see and who it. knows what she's what her importance is to the Disney company. Are you going to look this up now, apparently? There we go. She is an original mouse -keteer. But I told you she was old, Kyle. I knew I was she, right. She just passed away, baby. That's kind of why she's in the question. Well, <laughs> she, will. she looked like a nice lady. <laughs> Avery, <laughs> Daniel, and Captain Akron got it first. You want to dig a, dig a, you want to auger for that whole... You're no. going to write them down? Avery, no. Daniel, and Captain Akron. I'm trying to get y'all her points, the points here, but uh, she keeps uh, forgetting you guys for some reason. All right. Because you were getting me an auger, so. <laughs> Masketeer. All right, question. Next. What are we on? 13. 13 already. What is the only Florida-based DVC property not located in Orlando? If you haven't already, please do smash that like button if you haven't. What is the only Florida-based DVC property not located in Orlando? I think some people will probably get technical with this question, but I'm, I'm looking sure. for the... There's an obvious answer. I'm sure I'll get it wrong. Well, you, you guessed a scratch. Like, I don't think scratch I... Scratch Florida. I'm going to find a way to ask for just like a scratch through your, your answer column just so that you can get so that right. I can right. get a point. Like... That just, that's infuriating. Infuriating. The OG Mouseketeer. Yes, she is. Oh, wait. Hang on. I was reading what Two Real Geeks said. 40 bucks to go from the cab, wait, the Caribbean Beach Resort to Magic Kingdom. That's nuts. Yep. That's nuts. All right. Let's look. There it is. Vero Beach is the correct answer. It is a DVC property at Vero Beach. Uh, and Avery, Daniel, and Captain Akron got it. Very good. The first ones to get it. A lot of you went with Alani too, but uh, I was looking for Florida-based, not Hawaii-based. I understand why you went. Your head went there. Question fourteen. The Silly Symphony Music Land depicts the battle between the land of symphony and the Isle of Blank. This is actually one of my favorite Silly Symphonies. The Silly Symphony Music Land depicts a battle between the Land of Symphony, the Isle of Blank. And the Isle, and I, there should be a, and the Isle of Blank. It's, it's the battle between mm. the Land of Symphony and the Isle of Blank. There's your... There's my grammar grammar. issue. I knew that. I checked it this time, too. So That's so dumb that you still checked it. You need to read the words, not what's in your head. That's true. Land of Symphony and the Isle of Blank. That's what we're looking... What and the Isle of what? what? The Isle of Blank. And the Isle of what? 
I love blank. Yeah, I love what? I love blank. But what is it? I can't tell you. You think she's going to trick me over here? The Sometimes Isle he's gullible. Of blank. No, I'm not. I love misfit toys. That's pretty good. That's pretty funny. Well, Daniel's doing it too. Everybody's copying. Or just being funny because they all had the same thought. The Isle of What battled the land of symphony. Who knows the answer? There it is. Jazz is the correct answer. Avery, Daniel, and Eight. Is that going to be a new squad or something, I feel like? The squad. Nah. All right. Uh, what are we on? Fifteen. Fifteen. Which Disney character is associated with the numbers slash symbol combo? Ten slash six. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to like... Knock yourself for not remembering this one. Which Disney character is associated with the numbers slash symbol combo 10 slash 6? Oh, it's, what's that thing called when you need to reduce the fraction? Because that's all I want to do is make it. I think you're thinking way thirds. too hard about this. 10 6. This, not is not 10, 4. this is not necessarily math. 10 6. 10 slash 6. Y'all, she's going to lose her mind when she figures out what this is. Pluto? Don't look at don't look at it. I want I just I, I just got to see. Is it Pluto? Nope. The correct answer is Mad Hatter. <laughs> Captain Akron 27 Get it. 8 and Ali Rose, do you remember in his hat he's got that little card that sits there and says 106. You even have the mug yeah. that says 106 on it. <laughs> yep. I wrote that one specifically thinking you would get it. 106. Hmm. So sad. Yeah. I did give you the the ones who got it, right? Captain Akron, yeah, already hey, and Allie point. Rose. Just want to make sure we had them. Uh, there. I'm so disappointed. Read, read two real geeks. It's called math, math, Jessica. No, but you have to read math, Jessica. <laughs> All right, questions. Fifteen. Fit? No, that 16. was sixteen. I don't know. What sport is the Mighty Ducks based on? There you go. Look What's... at me. I got three right. That's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what sport is the Mighty Ducks based on? You, you, that was me. <laughs> you really questioned it. For I a did. Second. You saw She my wrote face. down the right answer instantly, but then I just looked at her and was like, mm mm. And she just started like, I could see the wheels turning in her head. She's like, oh no, oh no, how did I botch this? How did I botch this? And I've never even seen that movie. <laughs> I've seen parts of it. Uh, of course. I've seen parts of a lot of movies. Kyle's movies. biggest flaw is watching parts of movies. There you go. The I should have gotten technical and only accepted one answer, but we'll take hockey or ice hockey. Avery, Captain Akron, and Allie Rose got it first. Ice, hot, ice hockey is technically because there's field hockey. You know what my favorite ice hockey movie of Disney is? What? Ice Princess. Have you seen Ice Princess? You do realize that's not a hockey movie. It's a figure skating movie. Oh. <laughs> Here I was, y'all. <laughs> thinking that she was about to say Miracle. Because Miracle is one of the best sports movies, period. It is probably the best hockey movie out here. And this one, right now, just goes, I mean, definitively, just goes, do you know what the best hockey movie is? Ice Princess. We broke Jessica. We broke Jessica. Okay, just move on. Just go on. Just go on. Just go on. Next. <laughs> Miracle is such a good movie, though. Oh, my gosh. I just, I, there are days. Just, just pretend days. it didn't happen. Uh, no, no, no. I'm gonna, we're going to relive this every day for the rest of your life. Question 17. What type of trees were grown on the land Disneyland would be built on in the future? What type of trees were grown on the land Disneyland would be built on in the future? It's like one of the most famous parts of the Disneyland story. But you look... Jessica knows things, y'all. Except that Ice Princess is not a hockey movie. <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was coming back. Uh, oh. Jessica has watched Miracle. You, she, yeah. She's seen it, yes. So we, we both agreed that, that that's one of the best movies out there. We also agree <laughs> that Jessica is a bit blonde. I don't know the difference in hockey and figure skating. <sighs> <sighs> We're oh looking gosh. for what type of tree that was built on. Come on, people. I got this one right. Uh, let's see. Have we seen it yet? Yeah, we've seen a couple. I think we're a little behind in the chat here. 
Uh, yeah, we're still getting comments about. There we go. We'll, we'll take it. I think we've got enough answers. Orange, orange grove, orange tree, something like that, as long as I know what you were talking about. Uh, let me back up and make sure I got everybody. Captain Akron, eight, and Avery. Good job. Orange Grove is what it was built on. It's like one of the more, they like always talk about is that. Is that why, like that orange guy and the citrus I would, swirl? I would and... imagine, but that's a Florida bait, like it was a Florida oh, company-based right, right, thing. Right, right. But I would imagine they kind of saw the tie-in and was like, this kind of fits, you know, just to kind of tie it with Disneyland somehow. Question 18. Who killed Jabba the Hutt? <laughs> this is one of those things like, I know I should know this. I, see, this is why I asked this question, because I know everybody like now is like, I know this, I know this, but I can't answer it. Nope. Who killed Jabba the Hutt? See, that's, I'm going to try to like do at least one of these where everybody knows the answer, but it's like, who can type um, it in fast? I'm going to give Daniel my bonus point for this, because in my blondness he actually gave me some credit oh he said they both oh. were skates so oh. at least you got that right oh so much pandering i'm not opposed you know how to win jessica's heart apparently uh leia is the correct answer eight captain akron and ali rose got it first leia princess leia murdered somebody um, murder question what are we on 19 it's already 19, 19. Oh, all right second Two last one. said my dog I had a feeling that was going to come up. Well, I mean, that is his dog's name. Supposedly, what? Supposedly, how many steps are always between each trash can in Walt Disney World? Oh, shoot. This is a thing. Dang it. Yeah. Oh, is that your answer? That's yes, it. That's 100% that's my answer. Supposedly, how many steps are always between each trash can in Walt Disney World? <laughs> you didn't think I knew that. But you wrote the wrong answer because, first. No, no, no. That was just like me doing math. <laughs> Let me live. There's one thing you don't need to do tonight is math because you don't know the difference between a hockey movie and an ice skating movie. So that's not math. I knew how to reduce that fraction. Oh, goodness, people. The things I, I live, a lot of math today. The things that I live with. All right, there we go. 30 is the correct answer. The, fa the first ones to get that were Allie Rose, Avery, and Daniel Halverson. 30 feet between every trash can. Does anybody actually feel like that's true? No. I, I feel like I've they're never... very close, but 30 feet. Because I can think of 30-foot stretches like in Epcot, like... I'm not even talking about on the World Showcase. There's, there's like pathways that lead from the World Showcase to like little side routes. You know what I'm talking about? Like where the piggy wings were, where the plane. Yeah. I, it's just too narrow to have something there. No, so, it wasn't. There was a trash can there. I don't feel like there was. We're gonna measure it next time. We're gonna. I'm not. We're gonna find one that is 30 feet less or more. We're gonna try to find it. What? Don't, look, don't question me with hashtag Jessica Mass over here. <laughs> question 20. Your final question on the night. Which MCU character said, that man is playing... Galaga. Thought me... Mm. Well, I'll do this one. She's butchering it. Which MCU character said, that man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice. One more time, because Jessica butchered it. Which MCU character said, that man is playing Galaga. Thought we wouldn't notice. That's not even a guy's name. Oh. Who's the guy that says, I'm Mary Poppins, y'all? That's Yondu. That you are Yondo. <laughs> Let's see. What, okay. are, what are you? Jessica Math, Ice Hockey Skating, and Yondo bills. tonight have been and here. Ground Beef Horn Bills. Oh, I forgot about that one. That was so long ago. Goodness Things gracious. Things have not gone well for me tonight. Uh, yeah, I kind of thought Star Lord, too. Tony Stark is the correct answer. Clearly Daniel. And eight and Allie Rose. And guess what that means? The squad. <laughs> Strike on the end. Wait, wait. Can you guess how many questions I got right tonight? I think you got like five. Yeah. 
twenty percent success rate, y'all. She did better. This is this is what dreams are made of. All right, we're finishing tallying up everything here. We're going to go through our end of the game announcements. As always, the best way you can support us is just being here. But if you're interested in helping support this channel and helping us produce more content, you can do that a couple ways. One, just watch the videos and you know hit the like button if you feel like it warrants it. We really appreciate it. And we would love to see some comments below if you've watched them and your thoughts on them about the topic that we covered. Number two, we have a Patreon campaign. Thank you and shout out to uh, Daniel Halverson and Pamela for being part of our Patreon campaign. You guys have got some information that we just put in there for y'all, so make sure you check that out. And as always, you will know the Trivia Night theme earlier than everybody else. And probably, usually, sometimes they get hints way, way in advance. Number three, we take PayPal donations, if you prefer that, paypal.me slash i2idisney. And then we have a Tee Public store where you can get some merch for yourself, support an independent artist, and support this channel. Check it out over there. We also have our Facebook group that if you haven't joined, we want you to come be a part of and just hang out with us in there and just talk about Disney stuff, Disney through your eyes. Check it out at Facebook. All right, Jess. Wait, what, wait, What's going on here? What, what happened? First, let's go to Captain Akron because he threw out some truth. Um, he said it would take Walt Disney 30 steps to eat, a, to eat a hot dog. That's why they're 30 feet apart. Next. Uh, Two Real Geeks said... Jessica's shirt in that pig is true. Star Wars is a trap to her. Okay. Very go. close game tonight up at the top We had a tie here. for three. Third. Tie for third. Wow. Okay. All right. We'll start from the bottom top. Everybody that scored points and going forward uh, with one point tonight, Pamela and two real geeks with 11 points tonight, tied for third, eight, and Allie Rose. Oh, I skipped one. Daniel was fourth. <laughs> By himself with nine points. Uh, in second place... Wait, with, what about third place? I said third place. Oh, Eight now sorry. I know, I mixed that all up. Second place with 12 points tonight. So close. I thought you were going to win it tonight. Captain Akron, which makes our winner two times in a row. Avery the Cuban American with 14 points. Y'all were battling the entire mm -hmm. night. See, I think that's half the fun for us. By the way, give him a round of applause. I'll let Half the fun is us watching like the numbers go up and trying yeah, to guess who's yeah. gonna win because we're like, oh wow! It's like when the screen goes off, the things that happen when y'all can't see us, you just never. It was know. like knocked me in the face. Just, just never know here. Okay, I need to knock some sense in you tonight after things. <laughs> Don't tell my mom. Oh, she's gonna know about this tonight. Don't you worry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with us tonight. It was great to see y'all. By the way, I'll be putting out a new Animal Kingdom, Magic of Animal Kingdom video tomorrow, a uh, review of that. If you haven't, check out that series and our series reviews of that. I'm getting very close to releasing our August Disney trip stuff, yeah, so right. you really want to be ready for that because that's going to be coming out. We've been ready. The people want. Do you want to edit the things? No. There we go. So I will get them out as soon as I can. But we hope that you're excited about that and are excited for the things coming to our channel very, very soon. If you haven't also, go over to Pete McDermott's channel. Uh, you can find the interview that he did with us over there and check out his channel. He's doing some great things in the Disney YouTube creator space. So we want to give a shout out to him and a thank you again for him having us over there on his channel last night. So it was an awesome interview. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. We hope to see you again same time, same place next week for Trivia Night. Till we assemble again. May the force be with you. And we'll see you real soon. Bye, guys. <laughs>